Welcome to Too Easy to Learn. High Purchase. We will discuss the concept of high purchase and exam question. By the end of this lesson, students will be able to explain a high purchase agreement. They will be able to calculate the total cost of an item purchased through high purchase and they are also able to solve exam questions based on the high purchase concept. Let's start our lesson. High purchase. First, we need to understand what is high purchase. For example, you want to buy a car and you don't have the cash price of this car, so you can get this car on installment. What you have to do? You have to pay some initial deposit and you will pay the rest of the money in monthly installments and then you can get the car and you can use this car but when you will be the owner of the car when the all installment will be paid then the buy the seller of the car will transfer this car to your name and you will become the owner of the car by clearing all payments so a high purchase is the method of buying goods through an installment plan instead of paying the full price upfront. The buyer makes a down payment and agrees to pay the remaining amount in periodic installments. The ownership of the item remains with the sellers until all the payments are made at which point the buyers become the owner. And what is the formula? The total high purchase amount is equal to initial deposit plus total monthly payments. Let's solve exam questions of high purchase. Question number one. John wants to buy a new laptop that cost $1,200. He decides to purchase it through a high purchase agreement. The terms of the agreements are as follows. Number one, a down payment of 15% of actual cost. First, he has to pay the 15% down payment, which is called the initial deposit. And then number two, the remaining balance is to be paid in 12 monthly installment of $88 each. So rest of the amount will be paid in monthly installment, 12 months installment plan, and every month he has to pay $88. Part A, calculate the total amount John will pay for the laptop and the part B, calculate the extra amount to be paid. So down payment. So in agreement it is written the down payment is 15% of $1,200. So we will calculate the 15% of $1,200. So 15 divided by 100 of mean times multiply multiplied by 1200 use your calculator simplify it and you will get answer 118 dollar so he has to pay down payment 180 dollar now total monthly installment payment he has to pay 12 installment and each installment is 88 dollars so total monthly installment payment is 12 times 88 and it is equal to $1,056. So total amount to be paid. He has to pay initial deposit and the monthly installment. So total amount to be paid $180 plus $1,056. And it is $1,236. So at the end of the plan, he had to pay $1,236. How much extra amount he has to pay? The actual cost of the laptop is $1200, but he has to pay $1236. So extra amount is $1236 minus 1200 and it is the $36. So he has to pay extra $36. Question number two. Marta wants to buy a new car. She pays a deposit of 15% of the cash price. She then pays 24 monthly installment of 
$500 each. The cash price of the car is $13,000. Calculate the total amount Marta pays for the car. So in this, the down payment means initial deposit is 15% of the cash price and monthly installment payment is $500 and the cash price of the car is $13,000. So I prefer, I suggest you pause this video, solve the problem and check your solutions. Now let's solve this question. The down payment, the 15% of the cash price, 15% cash price is 13,000. So 15 or 100 times 13,000, use your calculator and find your answer. It is $1,950. So initial deposit will be $1,950 total monthly installment payment she has to pay 24 installment and each installment is of $500 so 24 times 500 so $12,000 so total monthly installment she has to pay $12,000 so total payment to be paid initial deposit plus this month total monthly installment payment. So 1950 plus twelve thousand dollars is equal to one thirteen thousand nine hundred and fifty dollar is total amount to be paid. Question number three the basic price of 2016 model of a car is $21,000. Sayyid and Rashid each buy this car model of car. Part A. Part 1. Sayyid pays a deposit of $756. Calculate the deposit Sayyid pays as a percentage of the basic price. So what is the basic price? It is the $21,000. We have to calculate the percentage of $756 as a percentage of basic price. So percentage deposit $756 divided by basic price which is $21,000 times 100. So your answer is 3.6%. So Sayyid pays 3.6% of the basic price. Now, part two, he then pays 24 monthly payments of $922.25. Calculate the total amount that Sayyid pays as a percentage of the basic price. So, I'll suggest pause this video and solve this portion and check your answer. So, total payments, total monthly installments are 24. And each installment is of $922.25. So multiply these two values. So you will get $22,134. So total monthly payment is $22,134. Total amount paid. Initial deposit, which is $756. Plus monthly installment payments, $22,134. So total payment he had to pay $22,890. But we have to calculate this amount as a percentage of basic price. And the basic price is $21,000. So payment as a percentage, the total amount paid, divided by basic price, which is the $21,000, times 100. So your answer is, 109% so he has to pay 109% of the basic price of this car part B Rashid pays a deposit of $381 followed by 36 equal monthly payments he has to deposit initial deposit 381 and after that he has to pay 36 installments 
the total amount that he has pays he pays is 127% of the basic price of $21,000 so total payment means that initial deposit plus 36 installment payment this amount the sum of these this these two amount is equal to 127% of the basic price so total amount paid 127% of the basic price so 127 divided by 100 times 21,000 and it is equal to 26,670 dollar so he has to pay the total payment of this amount but initial deposit is $381 so how much the installment payment so we will subtract this $381 from this total payment so total monthly payment 26,670 minus 381 so total monthly installments are 26,289 dollar and he has to pay this amount in 36 equal monthly installment so monthly payment total payment to be paid in the installment divided by number of installments which are the 36 so each month he has to pay 730.25 dollars question number four Mr. Limbs wants to purchase a television for a retail cost of $6,500. It is the cash price of this television. He decided to purchase the televisions on the high purchase. The store requires Mr. Limbs to place a down payment of $1,500 and charges a simple interest of 3.5 percent per annum for the monthly installments of 250 dollars how much will mr lim have to pay in total to clear of this debt so one thing this is that there is also a, a part of simple interest formula the initial deposit is 6500 dollar and uh, uh, cash price this is the cash price and the initial deposit is $1,500. That means that remaining amount to be paid is $6,500 minus $1,500. So $5,000 is left which is paid in the form of installment. But on this amount, Mr. Lim have to pay simple interest as well. So how many monthly installment first we have to calculate monthly installment is 250 dollars so time how many month if one installment is 250 dollars and there are the five thousand dollar we have to pay so how many in how many months it will be clear so five thousand divided by 250 dollars is equal to 20 months so this question is simple interest is per annum so we will convert these 20 months into years so 20 divided by 12 one year carries 12 months so 20 divided by 12 so we will get 5 over 3 years so we will use this time to calculate simple interest because he has to pay a simple interest on this $500 apply simple interest formula i is equal to prt over 100 principal amount is 500 and uh, percentage is 3.5 percent and time is 5 over 3 so plug in these values in this formula p5000 r 3.5 and time 5 over 3 this is 5 and we can write in denominator 3 this is the 5 over 3 and use your calculator you will get 291.67 dollars he has to pay this much amount 
as in the form of simple interest. The total payment to be paid $1,500 as an initial deposit, $5,000 is the remaining amount, and on this remaining amount, he has to pay simple interest $291.67. So total amount he has to pay is six thousand seven hundred ninety one point six dollars six seven dollars. So dear students, this is the end of the lesson. You must practice this question. And one thing when you are going to solve a question, pause the video, solve the problem and check your solutions. At the end, learn by heart. What things you need to be keep in your mind, in your heart? High purchase definition. What are the component of the high purchase? Initial deposit, monthly install. So total high purchase amount is equal to initial deposit plus total of monthly payments. That's all for today. See you in next lesson. Thank you.